Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Java 8 math class enhancements. So, Java 8 math class enhanced with the uh, 19 new methods. So, you can see on the slide. So, here I have shown you 13 methods and next slide I can show you 6 more methods. So, 13 plus 6 totally 19 new methods have been added in Java 8. So this video tutorial just I have uh, split it into two videos. So in first video we are going to look first 13 methods. So you can see most of the methods are static. So uh, so this method you can access through the class name itself, right? Or using a static import as well okay so as we know that math class is very important in java uh, and which belongs to the java.lang package and math class helps us to uh, uh, perform different kind of arithmetic operation right so this these methods have been added uh, for the special purpose right so if you look into the first method uh, that method is called add exact right and you pass to integer parameter so this will add this to parameter and return you as a integer value if this addition will go half if you add these two integer and this integer will go out of integer range then this is going to throw arithmetic exception so what i'll do uh, let's go to the java doc and try to explore uh, these methods first theoretically then we'll see some practical hands-on as well so here i have open eclipse and i have created a project uh, which contains a, a class with main methods uh, so let's press ctrl shift t and try to search math so it belongs to the java.lang package and press ctrl f type 1.8 and try to search so in this list first method comes is called add exact right saying that add exact which takes two integer parameter and uh, try to add these two methods right and uh, after uh, i mean result of addition of these two integer if go beyond of the integer range then this will throw integer overflow that's the uh, main purpose of this method so saying that you can see the java doc returns a sum of its arguments throwing an exception if the result uh, overflows an int right x is the first parameter y is the second parameter and that returns you the result and this throws arithmetic exception if uh, if the result overflows and int right it's pretty straightforward right so if you want if to add two integers and that go beyond of the integer range then you want uh, some exception uh, to be occurred at runtime so that's the main purpose of this method now next method add exact but similar method with the same name it's overloaded method which accepts long to long parameter adding these two long parameter and returning you as a long itself and again if you go beyond of the long then this will throw uh, again uh, long overflow next method we have a uh, sub subtract exact so almost this method is uh, again if you subtract i mean if you are passing two parameters just you are subtracting x uh, y from x and if you go beyond of the integer range then this will throw again uh, integer overflow similarly uh, subtract uh, exact for long if you sub subtract y from x and you, if you go beyond of the long then this will throw again uh, long overflow now again multiply exact very similar if you multiply x and y and you go beyond of the long range then this will beyond of the integer range then this is going to throw you integer overflow again multiply exact for long if you multiply these two long parameters and result is going beyond of long value then this is going to throw long overflow then increment exact if you pass an integer and after in incrementing if you are going beyond of integer value so this is going to throw an exception so by the way what is the maximum value of integer right so as we know that integer takes four bytes right when, when I say 4 bytes mean 1 byte equals to 8 bits right so 8 4 is 30, 
32 right so and 32 minus 1 so integer maximum value is minus 2 raised to 31 minus 1 that would be the sorry 2 raised to 31 uh, minus 1 that would be the maximum value of integer so if you have a calculator scientific calculator then you can open and here you can say 2 raised to 31st this is giving me this much and minus 1 so this would be the maximum value of integer and what was the minimum value of integer uh, that is nothing but the minus 2 raised to 31st that would be the minimum value of integer so I would say minus 2 raised to 30 first so this will be the minimum value of integer and if you go to the integer class so you get get a constant and this contains constant saying that max value but that is in hexa equivalent right and you can look into the java doc saying that maximum value of integer would be 2 raised to 31 minus 1 similarly mean value of integer is minus 2 raised to 31st right i hope you understood similarly long integer long value uh, what what is the size of long data type that would be uh, uh, eight, 8 bytes means 64 uh, bits means what is the maximum value of long that would be 2 raised to uh, 6 i mean 8 8 is 64 so 64 minus 1 63 so 2 raised to 63 minus 1 that would be the maximum value of long so that you can see in the if you go to the long class it's a wrapper class so everything you can get in the java doc itself and here you can find so minimum value of uh, long is uh, minus 2 raised to 63 and maximum value 2 raised to 63 minus 1 so so this is the range of long and integer what we are talking about here right so if you pass integer uh, after incrementing by one if you are going beyond of integer so we can see if you are going to beyond of integer then this will throw uh, integer overflow now let's check for the next api now next api what is that saying that exact uh, exact extract so you pass the long and you want the uh, uh, sorry increment exact so you pass the long value after incrementation if that go beyond of long value then this is going to throw you long overflow now next method we have a decrement exact if you pass integer and after decrementing if you go a mean value of integer then that, that is going to throw you uh, integer overflow similarly this similar method for the long as well now a method is called negate exact so you pass the integer and after negating means if you pass 10 this will this is going to return you minus 10 so uh, if after negating that number if you go uh, minimum value of integer then that is going to throw you integer overflow now similar method is available for the long right so if you go beyond of the long minimum value then this is going to throw an exception now uh, last but not the least uh, in this video to int exact you pass the long value and after typecasting if you want to get the integer and after typecasting if you go beyond of the uh, integer then this is going to throw integer overflow i hope you understood uh, uh, these methods so this is just high level uh, description about uh, these methods right so i think one more method uh, right so this was the all 13 meters uh, we have discussed right now now let's uh, have some hands on this method so <clears throat> first method i'm going to see math dot add exact right so here i'm going to pass 100 and <clears throat> sorry so what i'll do i'll pass first as an integer dot mean value right <coughs> sorry mean and i'm going to add 10000 in it <coughs> sorry so i'll get add exact and you'll get the value 
right so we got the expected value now math what I'll do math dot max uh, sorry math dot add exact again I'm going to use same method and here I'm going to pass integer dot max value max value and I'm trying to add one so this is going to throw you an exception at runtime right that is expected basically so if you go beyond of integer end that should throw an exception so let's see what is happening so okay I, I have given mean value I was supposed to give max value max value so if I run it then I should get look at here this is throwing an exception integer overflow exception right but if you do not use this method then see how it is getting calculated so I'm going to comment this part and what I'll do I declare a variable in data and I would say int dot max value uh, at plus one explicitly I'm going to calculate it so plus one and if I try to display this data then see you will not get any exception and this what is going to return by this calculation so look at here this is going to return you this value so but you do not so but what is desire what what uh, result you were expecting so basically when you add uh, one in maximum value of integer then this will go uh, to the another side and this is going to return you the uh, whatever is the minimum value of integer right if you try to add then this is going to return you uh, a value and here you will get 7 right so this will get the I mean 2 in minimum value of integer and that is going to return you but this was not expected right so to prevent this kind of uh, calculation you have this kind of method right so I hope you understood now let's explore some new, um, next method so similarly for addition and find abstraction subtraction also you have method like this right so and this will subtract like 34 as this calculation is not going beyond of integer so this will work very fine so if you go beyond of integer then this is going to throw an error so you get this value right so let's see some more methods like what else so again we have a um, methods for multiplication as well multiple multiply exact and here you can i'm going to pass 10 a l means it is in long and 200 l so 200 l so again this will not go beyond of long so we'll get the value successfully if this calculation goes beyond of long then you'll get an exception arithmetic exception right right so it works very fine now what else uh, math dot we had discussed about increment exact right so here increment eject and here I'm going to pass something like that so again we are not going beyond of long value so this will work perfectly fine so increment exact and you'll get the value this will increment by one right so we got the value so this works very fine and finally I'm going to talk about something is called negate exact so I'm going to pass long value and 5000 L and this will return you negate after negation means this is going to return you minus 5000 right so I hope you understood this method how it works so basically this rescue rescue this, this will uh, rescue from the wrong calculation right so I hope you understood uh, this method these methods are pretty straightforward but as a developer you must be you should be aware about this enhancement in uh, math class so in this uh, video we have explore, explored these 13 methods almost uh, some of the methods I haven't uh, shown you in this uh, demo but I am very much sure you can explore yourself so thanks for watching this video and this code I am going to upload on uh, github and github location i will specify in the video description itself see you in next video tutorial thanks